When City Council met on February 8th, they were tasked with appointing two new members to the Pikes Peak Library District Board, a decision that's based on the recommendation of an advisory committee. One was a replacement for board member Kathy Grossman, who was term limited. But there was also a vote to boot longstanding board member Wayne Vandersher. This is a volunteer board that people volunteer to be on, and time does run out for all individuals, and we move on to different new people. Both new seats were awarded to conservatives, one of them being D20 school board member Aaron Salt. Salt told KRDO in a statement Monday, quote, People don't feel comfortable being in our libraries because their conservative and religious viewpoints were not being respected. Salt is also on record saying he wants to remove certain objectionable materials from the library's youth section, and that appears to have been the final straw for Library Chief John Spears. He issued this statement saying, quote, the process surrounding how these appointments occurred was extremely contentious and pointed to the changes that are happening in our community, such as the recent school board elections. It is my hope that the values that define a library, such as freedom of expression, freedom of thought, and freedom of speech, will continue to be honored. I look forward to moving to a community where they are not under threat. Councilwoman Yolanda Avila told KRDO she was appalled by the committee decisions and shared similar sentiments with the council. This is political, and it's a culture war with banning books, censoring the library. It's a dark day today, what's happened on here in city council. Salt told me that Spears had been nothing but respectful to him, and he was unaware that Spears felt this way up until his appointment by city council. Still, he says he wishes Spears the best, and he's looking forward to working on a library system that is respectful, respectful of different perspectives. In the newsroom, I'm Spencer Soysher for KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Spencer, thank you.